hanging painted doors on your classic Camaro. That's what we're doing today. Let's get to it. What's going on guys? Meta here, Lethal Garage, and today we're finally gonna make some more progress. I shouldn't say finally. We've been working on it every weekend again. We're back. Um, yeah, we got two doors that have been on stands for a while, and that's primarily because we wanted to get a lot of the, in well, I don't wanna say a lot of the interior, but get the Dynamat, get the seats fitted, get the dash fitted and all that stuff before we put the doors on, because it's just less items to potentially ding mark, whatever so at this point we feel like we're in a pretty good position to be able to hang the doors so that's what we're going to do today so both doors are basically ready to go i still have some tape to take off of the ring brother hinges that we're using here uh, but overall it should be a pretty straightforward install today it's just going to take time so getting your gaps and alignments that you had before it went off the paint is the goal today um, as you guys know we put a lot of time into the car here's a picture of it and how it looked before paint but overall it's not just able you're not just able to throw the doors right back on the car uh, there's still that same pain in the butt process to get it aligned and in position to get the gaps that you set originally for the doors in this front line. Now, most people will do this route, and this is what all the builders and everything that I've talked to, and even the gentleman Heath and Craig who helped me do the body work and whatnot, you start from the doors and you work your way forward. So we're gonna line up the doors. Again, check in our gap along this back edge. We'll tape these edges off. That's one of the really important things because when things are painted, you don't want things to chip. And obviously we'll be doing our best to make sure, you know, we're not slamming things around before fitment is verified, but it's always good just to tape things off and be ready for it. So Heath is on his way over. I've been just cleaning up stuff around the car, making sure we have plenty of room. My garage isn't huge, but this should be more than enough space to hang a door and two guys getting around and getting bolts and all that stuff in place. So that's what we're gonna do. So gonna do a little bit of time lapse. I'll talk through what we're doing and how we're doing things. And uh, yeah, enjoy this video. Let's get to it. So one thing we did when we blew apart the car before paint is we did tag and bag all of our bolts, all of our spacers, all of our shims, everything. And we marked where they went, where they came from, etc. So we have the best chance of realigning and getting things in position how they were before we blew it apart. So today we'll be only touching the passenger upper door shims and the bolts. Uh, we've marked them for that and that's what we're doing. So just waiting on Heath to get here and we'll get the ball rolling. Heath's here. <laughs> so we're, we, we got the doors for the most part prepped. We got all of our bolts, we got our spacers. We've taped off the edge here. We know there's a big gap at the bottom because we don't have the rubber seal on the door right now. Probably would have been better with one other person to do this, but we get to test my will and strength and not dropping a door while he gets the bolts lined up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna put the camera behind, record us uh, fumbling around, and this will be interesting. What do you think, Heath? I think we got lucky. I think we got very lucky. <laughs> I think the driver door is going to kick our ass. Uh, it went on pretty good. There's probably a few little adjustments we'll need to make. We still have to put all the rubber. So I put the rubber stoppers on the inside of the door here so we know it can't slam. Um, there's no, we, the latching mechanism, all that stuff's not in the door currently. But as it sits, We sit there nice and lined up Ooh, doggy first time i've seen the door on there painted more paint to see <laughs> finally oh now for the driver's side so on the doors one thing i realized is 
I didn't tape off the bottom of the hinge. I left it exposed because when we were installing the doors and everything, you don't want tape obviously there. And I didn't even think to, to tape them. So they got paint on them. But the other side is, is there's paint thickness here. So this is something that's different from when we mounted the doors when in body work. So it's one of those things where how much thickness did it add? Are we gonna have to shim or adjust things a little bit more? It's all things you have fun with and have to figure out when you're assembling. But got this side set up, it's taped off. Remember we don't have front fenders on yet, so there's nothing to tape on that side. And now we're ready to get the door on as soon as Heath's done getting the rest of the uh, paint off. Sorry, I forgot to hit record. All sorts of fun with the driver's side. So right now the door's too far forward this way. So we have a nice big door gap right in here. So we gotta bring it back because this was a paint stick. So probably less than an eighth would make it a paint stick. Right now it's about what, two paint sticks? Maybe. So we got room to slide it back. So we gotta slide it back and yeah, that's what's happening next. I think we got it pretty dang close. I think there's a few more adjustments to do. So you can see on this side, the gap here, we definitely need to close that gap on the passenger side. So we need to lift up. So the little metal plates inside the front door, they move around up, down, side, front, everywhere. <laughs> so there's a lot of play that you have in just those metal plates. And then we also have play in the door back and forth. So right now, everything's looking pretty aligned and good, but there's a few adjustments still to be had. Okay, so the door, doorers are on. Hey, look at spoilers, nice and lined up. Look at you guys were all worried that this was not gonna be good. It's perfect. Uh, but the doors are as lined as they can be until we get the fenders on. So the next step is gonna be the fenders with the inner fenders, fenders and inner, those things on those things we'll get those on and the doors may need to go up and down we did get some adjustment on the door on this side we had a big gap between the a pillar and the door we got those basically dialed back in and everything's looking good i don't have all the hardware and stuff in the doors yet so we have bungees just keeping them closed so someone doesn't come by and door opens and yeah the, the bungees are helping right now but everything is looking good i'm super excited on how it's all lining up. The body lines look really good. Our gaps are looking good. Come back over on this side. I haven't cleaned anything, so you see our hand, our hand prints all over the doors. But uh, yeah, really the next step is just continue on. Once the glass and all that stuff's in, we will do a final cut and buff on the car and just blend in everything. And everything's gonna look great, but I think it's looking quite nice. We got we got three quarters of a car now. Maybe a little less, 60% of a car. Those fenders, the front fenders on a second gen are really long, so. But if you guys didn't see the motor install, that bad boy is in. I did put the carburetor up top. Looking pretty nice. Although I did have a, an oops moment. Yep, my bad. I have to get a new spacer. That sucks. Anyways, that is it for today. So the next video you guys are gonna see is a gas tank, which I can actually show you because it's here. So here's the Detroit Speed custom gas tank that we're putting in the car. It did come with straps. It's all stainless steel and it's got Holly fuel pump and a whole bunch of other gadgets and gizmos. We'll go over that in the next video, but tomorrow, or for the next video, we're doing the full rear end rebuild. So we still have all the old crap in the rear end. We drained all the fluid and all that junk out of it. So we'll rip that all out, clean it up on the inside, get the new stuff in there, get some AMS oil, gear oil in there, and hopefully get a measurement for our drive shaft tomorrow as well and see where we go from there. And the next step is getting our offset measurements so we can finally get rid of these wheels and tires because 
I, it's killing me walking out here seeing such a shiny, nice looking car with terrible wheels. Yeah, we need we need the, the proper wheels. So those are coming, we'll get them done. But that's all for today. Thanks for checking out the video. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys hang your doors on your car? How did you do it? Keep in mind, we are using the Ring Brother hinges. They are way more difficult to work with than the factory hinges, just because there's not a lot of room to get around them. So again, when we had our car painted, we actually left the hinges on the door side so we didn't have to take them off there. And the hinges just had to be rebolted to the actual car itself. So that saved a lot of time and headache getting movement and adjustment and all that stuff. And I'm super glad we did it that way. So all that said, it's done. We're ready for the next phase and things. So until next video, guys, I'll see you on the road.